If you're loving generative AI right now, we really need to talk about Adobe Firefly. Well, in case you've been living under a rock, let me explain that Adobe Firefly is Adobe's stab at doing really cool generative AI. And so far, they're breaking the mold with some of the technologies they've got. You can sign up to the beta right now and the link will be in the description of the video. I'm gonna show you what's available now and keep watching to the end where I'll talk about stuff that's coming in the future. And it's very exciting for video and audio producers too. Uh, so you've got a couple of options here, text to image. Now we've seen this with other things like Mid Journey and Dali, but Adobe have a unique take on this they are using Adobe stock photos so you can be certain that you're not going to get any kind of copyright or legal claims so look these are some of the examples here but I can use some of my own text prompts and I kind of would like to do that I prepared a few earlier and I'm just going to paste this one in so I want a whimsical candy land with gingerbread houses chocolate rivers and jelly bean trees under a sky raining sprinkles let's see what Adobe Firefly can generate for me on the go now you'll notice I've got it ticked as art at the moment I can change the aspect ratio and look at that that is absolutely <laughs> incredible this time I'm going to generate a dragon holding a quill writing a poem on parchment in the middle of a bustling magical library let's see what kind of graphic comes up from Adobe Firefly for this Wow, that's absolutely incredible and a little bit scary. Okay, I'm just going to have one more go at this. I mean, we've seen text to image generation before, but I think Adobe with their Adobe stock integration are doing this particularly well. So my final prompt here for the text to image will be a steampunk robot playing a violin amidst a Victorian setting lit by gas lamps. How creative, but what will Firefly give me? Oh, that's incredible. Let's make it real realistic here by going to the photo option. And then I might actually change and go for some other styles down here. There are some popular styles. This is incredible. Let's go for a palette knife and let's go artistic and see what comes up next. You can change color and tone, lighting, composition. Lots of stuff as you'd expect with Adobe. This is incredible. Uh, Photoshop obviously being the one of the leading apps in the creative cloud. Let's go for landscape 4 by 3 This could be interesting as well. So much that you can do, so much you can generate with a quick prompt and to know that it's all using licensed Adobe stock stuff is really good. This is incredible. Absolutely love it. Right, I'm sold on that. That's fantastic. Let's try out the text effects. Now in here, we can generate really cool looking text. So I think I'm gonna type in the text. I'm gonna keep it simple, MRC. And then let's go for something like, uh, let's make MRC velvety. Let's see what comes up if I type MRC Velvet. And here we get a creation that looks pretty interesting. There we go, fully created. And we can create it loose so that the velvet kind of hangs off the text. Or if we've got anything that's dropping off to the sides and we don't want that, we can simply change this to tight and tighten things up so it fits right inside the text. Okay, I'm gonna try something else with this. Now we've got the hang of what velvet might look like. Let's go for something uh, more visual. Let's look for what ice would look like if I put MRC inside ice blocks. And give it a moment and that is looking pretty cool and chilled and icy and notice it's given me different options of ice. I'm gonna go for origami and see what kind of origami comes out for my text. Let's try that prompt. Hey, that's incredible. That's pretty cool. Now I've got a feeling tight might be too much for this particular style. So let's make it loose so it kind of hangs off the text a little bit and see what comes up. And obviously as we go along, that looks super cool. Wow, that's amazing. You can change the background color as well if you like. So if you wanted to put a certain style of background, you can do that or you can keep it transparent. And then of course you can just hover over here and you can download it. You can favorite something you've created. Let's go for one more style here and see what comes up. Sand. Sand style MRC, there you go. And that looks, that looks really good. I'm also gonna change up the style, maybe mix it up a bit, and I can also choose a different font if I like. Totally amazing. Right, this is mind blowing really cool stuff. So that's available right now if you sign up to the beta version of Adobe Firefly. I thoroughly suggest you to do it and check it out. Just use your Adobe ID to get in the queue for the beta. Now coming very soon. It's actually going to be integrated into Google Bard. That's a Google's uh, generative AI large language model. So if you want to generate pictures inside Google Bard, which is kind of like the competition to chat GPT, that is coming very soon. I'm really excited about the video and audio aspects. Some of these include text to music generation, finding the relevant sound effects for your video,
generate captions, which of course you can already do in Premiere Pro, but then make them appear on screen in a really engaging way for shorts, TikToks, reels, animated text. When I get to the crag, I'm And another one I'm really excited about, finding relevant B-roll for your videos based on what is said in a transcript of your video. This is really cool next level stuff and I'm really excited to see where Adobe take generative AI. It's definitely the time to watch this space. Let me know what you think in the comments and of course what you'd like to see in the future from Adobe Firefly or Adobe Sensei AI technology. It's definitely a really exciting time.